The best part uh, in this uh, carnival or internship, uh, we we could actually get uh, almost forty percent applicants who are MBBS who are doing MBBS. So this is the first time, like MBBS and engineers will sit together to devise a solution, which is amazing. I met uh, Sumtesh and Sujitesh before also on that uh, meeting and. Uh, on that day, I also told both of you that I love you actually, because uh, you are so passionate about uh, uh, this disease, and especially you want to do for your mother, right? So this is a uh, it's a it's a right cause, and if all Indians, we should think in the way what you are thinking. I think we can help a lot with the elderly people who are suffering. Uh, from this disease, and uh, uh, in an institution, in academic institution in India, that uh, usually we work in the isolation. The isolation means that medical doctors are not talking to the technology people, and technology people doing their own thing. Doctors are doing their own thing. Industry is doing their own thing. We never talk to each other. And uh, so this is a, the right kind of platform. Actually, this is our wish also. We want to start a program in IIT Roper, uh, uh, MDMS program, where uh, we want that uh, uh, technologists can sit with the doctor and, uh, and they can know each other's and what they need actually. If you go to the any doctors, so they are using the state-of-the-art equipments nowadays, especially if you go to I, I, ICU. And you can see that a lot of gadgets they have. Sometimes these doctors, they don't know much about the technology of those gadgets and they're using it. And I can share one experience I have actually. We were recruiting, maybe I told you maybe before also, we were recruiting a faculty position because in Punjab we have a AIMS also for faculty positions for AIMS Batinda. So since morning to evening we have inter interviews and whenever it comes to the technology this medical doctor tells me or something with research Rajiv you should ask the question. So I was asking all research related questions or teaching related questions because in the end they have to teach medical students like MBBS and there was a one guy every second word he used laser we are using laser for this, we are using laser for this. And then I asked, asked Dr. So you know what is what is the meaning of laser? He said, you don't know. But I say you are using for it. You are using in your surgery, you are using even the hair transplant and you are taking, you told me you are taking out also here. You are using, you are doing eyes operation, you are using laser. But tell me what is the full form of laser? He doesn't know. And I say, well, when your MBBS student will ask you, Sir, what is meaning of laser? You cannot tell them. So you should know about the technology, what you are using. And for example, I have a man with 100 kilo and one man is 50 kilo. Which kind of laser power I should use? I cannot use same laser power for these two different patients, different ways. You know how to adjust it? He said, he doesn't know. So what is the, this is the right platform now. And when, as already Viraj told that they will have both uh, medical doctors and engineers, they will sit together and they are coming from the biomedical engineering department, most of them. And we want to uh, develop a center at IIT Roper also for biomedical equipment. So, so we want to design new, new kind of biomedical equipments in consultation with the doctors. For example, close by us is a PGI. So there's a lot of collaboration exists already between IIT Roper and PGI. And then there are a lot of collaboration exists when it comes to the orthopedics. So there are a lot of doc, uh, professors from uh, mechanical here. They are working with a doctor with PGI. So they are not only working, you can see they are publishing a high class publication also together. So that's uh, a, a situation which we call the win-win situation when doctor and engineers meet and they think uh, in they come with a different background 
and then they conserve uh, they can converse on a simple problem or common problem or they come on the uh, same platform so this kind of event uh, will give this opportunity then because all our participants they are young and they are keen and they want to learn and uh, this kind of carnival is already successful not in this area but in other area when we talk about uh, agriculture and water technology management where you floored more than 100 internship in there so it was very successful and i'm sure this will be more successful than than uh, that one because here we have a social cause so we want to work for arthritis and there's a very big population in india who are suffering from this and they have all they have a pain they suffer for pain they go to the doctor wo doctor bolta hai ki mata ji ye to ab aapke sath hi jayega he just gave this answer so so they they also actually in the that sense they have also given up so you just maybe they will just give you the pain killer when you feel pain just take it but there is no remedy so we want to work some kind of remedies and with this platform if we can come up even we can reduce their pain by 50% without doing anything extra and that will be a wonderful job for those people who are suffering for this especially our parents elder people in india or abroad and they need a support from our side where we can contribute in that direction to help those people so with that uh, uh, i will stop here i will not take much time but uh, i will tell that uh, i will like to tell that we should continue this kind of activity not only in iit roper but we have other 23 iits we have many other good institution they should all come on one platform and we should try to solve some of these problems which our parents are facing our mother are facing or my sister is facing or all the uh, whole the community is facing so uh, we have to work and this is a very good initiative and especially from sumitesh and sujitesh and uh, who are also sitting here and uh, and i can see that uh, they are fully dedicated for this cause and uh, they really want to help other people should not suffer uh, for this uh, disease and uh, if we can make even a small change that will be a big step uh, towards uh, uh, in this direction for elderly population with that i will stop and i want that uh, this meeting we are doing online and one day you both will come and all participant can come in the campus and we should have this kind of discussion really in a physical mode i can tell you it will be having totally different effect when you meet personally when you see each people's eyes you feel different and you get more extra energy which we i cannot get when i am talking in front of the screen so thank you dheeraj uh, and to arranging this and uh, thanks for uh, asking me to come here yeah thank thanks a lot sir uh, so i i will request uh uh sumitesh ji to please uh, who, uh come on the dais and and we can also welcome dr navtesh uh, who has joined us from uk sir he is a specialist in uh, in disease ra uh, uh dr navtesh if you can uh, switch on your camera and and screen uh, camera uh, and mic it will be very helpful say a few words to him okay um yeah. just wish to say um a big thank you to uh Dheeraj for reaching out to me on linkedin essentially to actually give this talk firstly i mean really it's been very fortuitous that Dheeraj contacted me um through linkedin and within minutes of contacting uh asked me to give this talk on edathon and you know i i and it what was even and more interesting was that the chap i go walking with is a fellow uh, doctor as well knows this chap as well so it's actually quite a small world we all live in roper my my social circle and this chap as well but you know the point of this talk is is to give something back you know we've had uh, you know discussions i've had discussions with my colleagues here you know we've come a long way i am a british citizen i'm born and bred in the uk but i have indian heritage and the question has to be asked for all of us in the diaspora is to why have we come 
this distance and we've worked so hard to get to this position, what is the point when we're seeing, you know, what we've left behind, what our families left behind, the problems that people face? And we have to ask ourselves the question, what was the purpose of migration? We've seen from a European perspective, um, people have migrated to the USA and Canada and they have in their own way brought things back to Europe in many ways in terms of new ideas, new ways of doing things and from an economic perspective as well. And I think it's important to look at the whole bigger picture from a global stage and see this is an opportunity to bring something back to, to South Asia, to India and to actually you know, translate that knowledge across and translate the expertise across to try and focus ourselves onto the global stage and make us think in a much more rational and modern way in line with what's going on here. We mustn't forget that the medicine that I practice is allopathic medicine, which was back in the 16th, 17th century, was at the same level as Ayurvedic medicine. And what changed was rationality. And that came in and that's where the new ideas changed. And, you know, that's where it went streets ahead of, of Ayurvedic medicine in many ways. Anu Saini, who is a who has written on this, she lives in, in Karnal, I'm not sure, but she's written a, written a very good article on this, if you want to re reference that, explaining the difference and how things have changed. And obviously in my talk, I will highlight the issues related to delays in treatment and also the evidence that shows actually what is, from the Indian perspective, what the issues are. There are a lot of problems, you know, within the fraternity in terms of how we do research and development in India. I've known this for a long time, from the very day I started studying medicine, that a lot of the work that is published, that we study is based upon research on primarily European populations, which is good because it gives us an indication because genetically we are, we are overlapping. And now we have a, an opportunity now to actually, with this lecture hopefully, and further on, is to actually see how we can try and, you know, move out, move up a gear move up our level, get up, move, improve things locally within Ro not just Ropa, but also throughout the region as well and and translate that knowledge across. And hopefully I can, you know, do do that some justice today with the talk I'm about to give. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Singh. Can I add something more? If I give yes. it. Now, Tej, I was living, I'm also living for the last 30 years in Sweden. So I just started here last year only, and I'm still on the leave from Sweden. So I came also with this thinking that how I can help my country, my my colleagues who are living here, and uh, how we can contribute, and how we can take this IIT to next level where we can think about our social responsibilities also, not only doing research for ourselves. So so this is uh, what I that. This is what bring me also to India, actually. So this is what also we want to give back to the society. Thank you. So, so with this, I would request uh, uh, Dr. Sumitesh uh, to say a few words about the initiative and uh, share your uh, your efforts with, with us. So thank you, Dhiraji, for this uh, excellent effort. I still recall the time when with the director sir we had uh, met and i think um, it was uh, it was such a auspicious occasion i must mention that uh, we are able to do this in just about less than 12 weeks time since we met first and so obviously i always believe that uh, we we put in our efforts but we are also helped by the stars somewhere you know and i think uh, the, these two uh, somehow fall in place when the intent is pure and uh, the intent is sacred and we are all built to it. I think the jump, the connect with the um, uh, doc here, uh, Dr. Navjit uh, Navtej uh, Singh was also very, very uh, opportune moment. And we also could line up a series of um, uh, professors as the uh, director sir said uh, from across IIT. So we have from IIT Mumbai, uh, we have one professor who himself is a patient of uh, the inflammatory bowel disease. We have uh, another professor from IIT Guwahati who has been working on the biomaterials and so on. We have somebody from the startup community who is trying to do something. Uh, and I, as you know, in India, it is always tough to get the manufacturers, to get the supply chain, etc. 
So what we have tried to do uh, is to put together along with IIT Roper and with the blessings of Director Sir and uh, eminent personalities like Naftej Ji is, is a week one, which is to expose this cohort that we have uh, gathered here uh, uh, as to uh, what are the different dimensions that you need to look into when you embark on such a journey. So please treat this as a stepping stone for your entrepreneurial dreams and whatever you do, I mean, be, uh, you should be, be bold. That's all that I can say. Uh, be bold, be creative because uh, you, you are the path breakers, right? So you, you are the guys who, guys and girls who are going to make it happen. Uh, and, th and this is one of the unique um, edathons. There have been hackathons with IT field and uh, as, as Dhiraji said, Last time, uh, IIT Roper, they, they did a lot of stuff on agriculture and we borrowed some of the ideas from there. That's how all big ideas go. So what I'll do in the next maybe uh, five, seven minutes along with my brother Sujitesh uh, is to give you a glimpse of why we wanted to do this um, initiative so that you can get that where we are coming from. Uh, so I will try to share my screen. Uh, uh, Okay, so just uh, let me know if my screen is visible. Yes, it is visible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so welcome to Adathon 20, 2022. So this is powered by IIT Roper and Aid Kriya, uh, which is a social venture of Gita and SKD uh, Foundation uh, venture. So right on the outset, let me say a big thank you to director sir as always he has been a guiding star professor singh uh, dhiraj uh, the man on the ground always and his excellent team uh, dr navtej you have been a godsend connection let me put it this way for joining us and the esteemed speakers who will be speaking in week one and of course not the last uh, is the pioneer edathon participants that is you so we are the co-founders and co-aiders. We call ourselves co-aiders, uh, myself and my brother Sujitesh here. Um, so we will just take you through what drove us. So there are two stories here. On the left, you see Ten Toes, uh, which is basically as in Bengali, they say Baba for father. He was a rheumatoid arthritis warrior for 20 plus years that we have seen. And we as a family have experienced everything, whether, you know, the difficulties in diagnosis, difficulties in caregiving, medication, uh, diet, nutrition, and so on. On the right hand side, we have toilet seat. And that is because my our mother passed away with the inflammatory bowel disease. She, she struggled with it for six years. And we, we felt the same difficulty in getting doctors, diagnosis problems, and so on. And what we saw when we went a bit deeper was we have more than two plus crores of warriors per annum. And many of them, because of the system that we have, go undiagnosed and unreported. Both of them, incidentally, are autoimmune diseases and there are no cure. But then we could possibly do something. And that's where we founded this foundation, uh, born on October 2021. And what is our vision? And we want you uh, to join us in this journey to be India's pioneer in aiding warriors inflicting with autoimmune diseases of joints and bowels. Uh, we don't claim that we could solve all the problems, but a, one little uh, contribution, one little step is, is a big thing. And so this is where I'll hand over to my brother Sujitesh to take over and share his uh, views. So, yes, over to you Sujitesh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Sumitesh, and thanks, uh, I think, Dr. Deeraj to uh, make this day a reality. Uh, ultimately, you know, we are getting to Edu-thon. Uh, <clears throat> and Edu-thon, uh, you know, started with this uh, word uh, aid, right? And when, <clears throat> when we thought, uh, how do we give a name that uh, uh, sounds and goes well with uh, these two diseases, right? The cause uh, behind this, and so we we came up with this aid, which was to help, and uh, kriya, which was uh, which was motion, right? And it's, it's motion that always drives us. 
and uh, that's where uh, we uh, we started operating with this uh, name uh, aid kriya uh, which is a social venture of uh, our foundation in the uh, memory of our parents uh, we aspire to promote develop encourage and support the various stakeholders and it's a larger large set of stakeholders it's a very very a uh, broad ecosystem of of these two uh, diseases uh, rheumatoid arthritis ra in short and inflammatory bowel disorder ibd um, our mission is uh, you know threefold uh, we look at technology and i think that's where a lot of us has gathered to contribute towards the cut some cutting edge research that may lead to early diagnosis and uh, you know impactful outcomes uh, for uh, the barriers uh we also want to uh, create this learned community through sharing and learning and uh, this uh, edutan is also a step in that direction <clears throat> and sharing experiences knowledge and overall build bonds right and i can see this uh, translating into a almost an international forum right with participation thanks to the virtual mediums and uh, so building bonds and spreading awareness getting more hearts and hands uh, involved in this cause that's how i think the real effect of uh, social media comes um, i'd also encourage all of you i'm sure some of you have already gone through our website uh, and uh, aidkriya.com uh, we we want to keep it simple we do two things we we get you know we kind of uh, people who can who come to the site can get aid Uh, aid in front uh, terms of grants um, aid in terms of uh, sharing experiences through a through a community which we call crowdcope and then purple pages uh, which is essentially a repository of information that we want to curate and contextualize in the indian context and the second part is the giving aid uh, you know by making donations uh, they can be monetary in nature it can be through campaigns which are non monetary with times of time and effort uh, or in kind and then you know refer um, refer the platform um, refer this to um, you know friends families um, colleagues um, and and in that sense you know uh, try and give the aid to the community um, i'll take you know we've taken some baby steps uh, in terms of the grants and i think one of this edutan is part of our uh, research grant so that's where you see the research associate option uh, we will uh, you know continue to also support content curation we'd like to support uh, entrepreneurial uh, ventures ideas uh, i'm sure some of you will get encouraged take this further in your institutions uh, colleges uh, maybe do some events or a part of an event we would there where we would like to participate and and you know sponsor and uh, another very important thing that we realized through our own journey was the lack of uh, you know caregivers or at least a, a common place where we could uh, get that information so we we plan to do this um, as well which is a help supporting caregiving aggregators now um, obviously we have a certain uh, seed capital that we have put into the foundation uh foundations or any of the social um uh, ventures they do run on donations so we welcome donations from uh, our uh, you know uh, participants and uh, we we say that you know these donations can be in honor of someone you care it can be in memory of someone of a loved one it may be sometimes you celebrate occasions which is special days and instead of uh, you know uh, this thing why can't you donate to a cause we also encourage the warriors to also uh, you know in, in case they want to do something for the fellow warriors they can to donate and finally you know donation doesn't have a reason it's all about the experience the joy of giving uh we also have this uh, unique kind of a community uh, platform that we put on the website it's very, very similar to a linkedin or a facebook it's called crowdco we, we you know we know that it takes a community to raise a citizen so encourage people to spread the word around uh, uh, this is uh, where people this is more more like the community uh, you know people who are warriors helping each other, you know helping one another by participating sharing their information sharing their stories 
And uh, this is something which we have very, very recently, uh, and we are actually um, launching this in a few days, which is a 360 degree uh, aid bank uh, cur curated, contextualized for India, because we think there's a lot of information that is outright there in Google, but not necessarily in the Indian context. Um, and there is information that in the form of videos and form of blogs and books and you know reviews, listicles, whatnot. So we want to make this one source of information that cuts across in the nutrition, the food, the lifestyle, medications, you know, surgery, um, various aspects. So all in all, you know, we, we are building this on, on, on the website and I'll encourage, uh, you know, everyone to participate, um, you know, uh, in, in the, in the platform. And, you know, finally I'll end with this. I mean, uh, this, uh, this hardly 12 weeks back, I think we, we started this, and this was all conceived. And today we are seeing this as a as a reality. So this is a campaign where it's not just about the uh, you know just about the money. It is about a cause. It is about uh, the time. It's about effort, and it's a, it's a purpose uh, that all of you have come together, and uh, you know uh, it makes us so delighted that uh, this kind of a collaborative approach uh, can be taken across. Um, you know, I was going through. A lot of your backgrounds and you know, coming from uh, different cities, towns, um, different backgrounds, and here is a common thread that ties all of us together. So, and and we are we are on our journey. So we we plan to have a lot more on on the website, a lot more in the venture in terms of you know memberships, in terms of products, um, because we do think that there can be a lot of products which can aid uh, people right from maybe a mobile holder to, uh, you know, possibly a, uh, maybe a bed, uh, uh, something like a bed stand, which is electronically, uh, electrically operated, right? And, um, you know, we, we want to also have this uh, uh, website, this venture all run in vernacular languages, because India is not a country of just English or Hindi or, uh, you know, a particular language. So we, thanks to, you know, the Google translation, we will have the website available in multiple languages and uh, look forward to more we we are welcome all ideas and this is uh, this is a collaborative uh, uh, you know venture i would say uh, we just uh, are co-aiders in the process and yeah i look forward uh, you know to the edu-thon uh, i think edu-thon was a unique word when we started uh, aid to help and the very important thing do right so it is all about doing and I think that's the key thing uh, uh, that we will look for the aid and do. And then, yeah, it's it's a um, you know, it's hopefully a, a start of a, you know a big marathon that we will see over the next eight to ten weeks. And looking forward to all your contributions and wishing you know all the best to uh, you know all the student participants. And uh, we think you know the future is in good hands and. Uh, may all of you, you know light the torch uh, together with us to make this uh, success. Over to you, Dr. Dilaj. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, uh Yeah, I want to invite in case some some intern want to share some some understanding of what how how they come to this Edison platform and effect out of it. In case someone wants to talk about it, they can raise their hands. I'll, I'll allow them to speak then. So what expectations they, they have come with for this Edison? So it will be interesting to see. So. Hi, Dr. Dheeraj. Uh, yes, yes, please, Kushman. Yeah, please say something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Dheeraj, for the opportunity. And a um, little bit about myself. Hi, everyone. I am uh, Kushman Kaur Bhular. I am a fifth, I'm actually an intern uh, from the medical background. I recently finished my fourth year MBBS and officially a doctor now and I've been working in the wards. And my, um, I would say, driving force or factor uh, into applying for this Adathon and, and trying to um, make make my contribution to it is is years of uh, past three years i would say at least of seeing patients suffering from these conditions us as medical professionals or caregivers uh, feeling the lack of um, 
you know uh, in, in the data system itself of providing that adequate care fee, uh, in the discussions with our seniors with the professors and i believe uh, this adafone provides that unique combination of a set of people um, from the medical as well as engineering background who can come together to make an impact and fill those gaps in the in the learning system in in the innovation sector and make a change in the in the required care that is needed in the present day field uh, for these patients who have been actually as a uh, uh, dean sir was mentioning earlier have been in increasing in numbers in some kind of maybe a you know cause a pandemic in the future so yeah thank you so much for giving the opportunity yeah thank you kushman uh, wonderful to hear your thoughts about it so i may request uh, vijay uh, to say a few words yes sir good afternoon everyone um, my name is vijay and i am currently pursuing my btech uh, from uh, chandigarh university as well as i'm par parallelly doing my bsc from uh, iit madras and uh, currently i am uh, staying at iit madras and i am very close to iit roper as sudarshan ayankar sir is my professor uh, so uh, he is from iit roper and i uh, uh, i was uh, regularly talk with him uh, 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 three days so uh, what i actually want to uh, what i motivate us uh, what i mot motivate me to uh, attend this type of internship like my elder sister diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis at the age of uh, 24 and uh, uh, that was a very uh, early age uh, and uh, we do not know about all this uh, type of uh, autoimmune disease and i think uh, uh, that was the very uh, uh, like a pandemic situation for our family because uh, she, uh, she was uh, that time she was unmarried and uh, uh, the marriage ceremony goes after 6 month and uh, they face uh, their uh, like uh, doctor diagnose uh, and say that it is a rheumatoid arthritis by their anti cpp report and after that uh, we visited a lot of hospitals in india like uh, even i i i, I together we come in chennai even uh, pgi uh, lucknow pgi chandigarh and everywhere they give only uh, same medicines demart and say carry it uh, for a long time life long there is no any permanent uh, cure cure for it so uh, she, get, uh, she got uh, in a very depression and uh, it every now she is feeling so much uh, relief because of some uh, ayurvedic therapies like uh, uh, he does uh, panchakarma as well as uh, some uh, uh satvik uh, har like uh, she take some uh, decent uh, food materials and she feels a uh, relief uh, right now but uh, i i will all i'm always give him motivations and uh, at every week i will so uh, so i will i saw him that uh, there is uh, some research work uh, uh, done in america like Uh, soon it will be uh, treatable and see get relief like uh, parallelly i am doing uh, some research work on it uh, on my personal level so that i will uh, uh, further uh, no one sister will suffer like that which are uh, i can't express my emotions uh, at that time my family was so much uh, so much in depressions like we have money we have money but we can't uh, uh, treat that because uh, doctor uh, said that uh, it is untreatable just carry this medicines so the, uh, one day i visit the iit roper website and i see that and i'm so much interested to hear and uh, i i will i'm a computer science background but i will uh, put my 100% effort in this thank you thank you vidik thank you uh, 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 Yeah, Doctor Nartej, with your due permission, can we hear from few of the students more, or should we start with the expert lecture? Please go ahead. You, it'd be useful yeah. to hear because it's part of the whole. It's a group experience, so we need to yes. hear everybody's experience in all of this because obviously there's some personal experiences as well. So please Thank go ahead. Thank you, Doctor Nartej. So may I ask uh, Yash to say? Uh, 
सर बेसिकली हमने देखा कि इस कोविड पैंडेमिक में बहुत जो इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स थे बायोमेडिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स थे या उससे रिलेटेड जो भी हम इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आ रहे थे कॉन्सेंट्रेटर ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेटर हो गया ये इसकी अवेलेबिलिटी हो नहीं पा रही थी तो मेरे पापा भी उसी में कोविड अभी कोविड में अप्रैल में एक्सपायर हो गए थे तो मुझे समझ में आया कि क्यों नहीं अवेलेबिलिटी हो पा रही है तो जब मैंने थोड़ा बहुत जाना कि जो मैक्सिमम कंपनीज है वो बाहर से बिलोंग करती है फॉरन कंपनीज है हमारे इंडिया में कोई भी इससे रिलेटेड कंपनी नहीं है और जो भी स्टार्टअप्स हैं वो बहुत छोटे मोटे स्टार्टअप्स हैं जो कि उनको इतना बूम नहीं मिल पाता है कि क्योंकि उनका इतना एक्सपोजर नहीं हो पाता है तो देट्स वाई कि मैंने सोचा कि क्यों ना ऐसे छोटे मोटे प्रोजेक्ट्स पर अगर मैं काम करूँ और एक समय आने पर हम एक कंपनी बना सकते हैं जो कि इंडिया में मैन्युफैक्चर कर पाए तो अभी जस्ट मैं एक टॉपिक मतलब प्रोस्थेटिक एक ऐसा टॉपिक है कि उसमें भी हम कुछ नहीं कर मतलब बहुत सारे लोग ऐसे होते हैं कि जिनको प्रोस्थेटिक की जरूरत होती है बाकी वो अवेलेबल नहीं हो पाता है उसे कॉस्ट बहुत ज़्यादा होती है तो मैं अभी जस्ट उस पर ही काम कर रहा था कॉलेज में हमारी इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर है सी आई आई तो वहाँ पे बहुत सारी चीज़ें अवेलेबल हो जाती है तो उस पर भी मैं काम कर रहा हूँ और इन द फील्ड ऑफ कॉस्ट की मतलब हम देखते हैं कि अगर बाहर से भी अवेलेबल चीज़ें हो पा रही है या फिर हमारे यहाँ पे भी बन पाती है तो उसकी कॉस्ट बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाती है आइर हम देखें इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वे में तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक की भी हमारे इंडस्ट्री नहीं है इंडिया में तो वो भी बहुत अफेक्ट करती है कि हमारी जो कॉस्ट है ओवरऑल वो बहुत बढ़ जाती है तो इसलिए मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि हम कुछ अगर प्रोसाइट या फिर किसी भी वे में अगर हम इंडिया में कोई ऐसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिवाइस की कंपनी हम ला सकें जिससे बहुत सारा कॉस्ट बच जाए और हर एक को चीज मिल सके थैंक यू यश आई आई थिंक एवरीबडी ऑफ अस आर ऑन सिमिलर मिशन टू टू डू समथिंग विच कैन टू विच वी कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अ लॉट टू द कंट्री थैंक यू आई एम श्योर योर मोटिवेशन विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल हेयर सो या मे आई रिक्वेस्ट अंगत ना टू से टू शेयर दिस थॉट्स राइट uh uh greetings dr naftej uh, dr dheeraj uh and the esteemed panel uh a little about myself uh, my name is angad tiwari and i'm an intern doctor at uh, mlb medical college uh, jhansi india so uh talking about a little uh, on the profession front i believe uh, i i aspire to be a physician scientist someday so that requires you to integrate mb and phd programs so uh i think when i dig into it about it uh, there were not many esteemed programs uh, which trains us professionals to become physician physician scientists in the future so i believe the kind of platform which the adathon is providing us is uh, is extremely amazing because uh, i personally have participated in many uh, uh, in uh, various hackathons specifically the medical hackathons uh, where you you have to integrate the the technical aspect the the medical aspect and the physical at the and the business aspect uh, to to actually create a product which can uh, help the public in mass so if adathon 2023 was to happen i believe we do have the technical aspect we do have the medical backgrounds working at the same platform but uh, if you were to improve further i believe we can we can add a physical business aspect to it so that the kind of ideas we are discussing the kind of ideas that we are collaborating i think it has to come into a a proper solution to help the public so to to develop that i believe you need a, a good business model so that it can go to the people who actually require it so uh, i think that has been my experience and i i believe uh, uh, and i wish you success to the program. thank you so much yeah fine angad fine so actually you will see that suddenly the problem statement that you are going to see at the end of the first week it it right. it is going to cover everything <laughs> which we are not going <laughs> to let you sleep the next two months so we we want some output <laughs> out of out of you so let's see how thank how you, things turn up okay so right. yeah thank i'm you. sure it, it's going to be a wonderful experience for everyone of us so may i request asta now to share her thoughts Good evening, everyone. Myself, Asta Kalita. I am currently a third-year chemical engineering student at Assam Engineering College, Guwahati. Uh, talking about what actually motivated me to join this uh, Adathon is that uh, just like our director sir just mentioned that once a doctor replied, "Ki Mata Ji, ye to aapke saath hi jayega rheumatoid arthritis." Similar thing uh, happened uh, with me also. My mother is also suffering from rheumatoid arthritis, and when we um, went for a doctor, then though he uh, replied in a much positive manner, but उन्होंने भी ऐसा ही कहा कि देखिए मैम जैसे कि हमारे बाल है उनको सफेद होना ही है वी कान डू मच अबाउट इट सो दिस कान बी करेक्टेड देन 
uh, though it was i guess the truth but uh, i was really disheartened though i can't express any emotion in front of my mother i came back home and i searched uh, in google but the answer that i got was the same that it can't be cured and when i once saw this thing about adoton that it's going to work on this idea then i it really excited me because as a engineer we are only indulging chemicals and machine stops so uh, working for this thing will be a really a nice opportunity for all of us i believe and uh, someone just uh, asked me uh, my senior just told me to uh, do internship that are related to your co- course then i replied to them what better thing it could have been if we can't do an internship or project based on social cause i think that's what we are supposed to do so this is what and um, thank you everyone thank you asta for your words uh, so may I request now dev to share his thoughts Yes, yes good evening everyone i am from ahmedabad and pursuing btech mechanical as i am interested in designing and developing new products when i read about this internship i means i thought it would be great for me if i can help people with something that i know in related to this medical field as or that this was my motivation to means be in this internship and also excited work with, with working medical and engineering together yeah, yeah fine thank you thank you So yeah. So last, I may request Opinidi to uh, to share her thoughts. Hello, everyone. This is Satya. So I'm a third year MBBS student from Surat, Gujarat. So my motivation was that my friend was uh, basically suffering from bleeding and all, uh, and then she was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which is also a type of uh, autoimmune diseases. Uh, it was a very new experience. We Uh, searched for these uh, diseases all throughout the net and all, and I came to know that there were many such diseases which are uh, uh, going all over the India, like uh, many inflammatory bowel diseases and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Very much prevalence is there, so I thought that there must be something which we can do, and uh, I got to know about Ed- Edathon, and I was very interested in to build up something which would be helpful to the citizens. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, uh, uh, students. It's wonderful to have you with such a motivation. So, I think Shubhi also want to say a few things. So, yeah, Shubhi, you are free to speak. So, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, you for such a great presentation and uh, your initiative uh, towards such a great cause. Uh, I would like to say a few words regarding my. Uh, my vision towards this it's like i had a uh, been uh, like being a student from a biomedical btech biomedical student i had a grip over both technical as well as bio background so i was always looking for a platform where i could showcase uh, skills uh, uh, towards like this so when i first heard of it i uh, i took a survey from uh, some of my friends and family members who were uh, undergoing through this problem and i uh, there was one constant thing that i uh, heard and one was the medication problem that there was no like they they were they didn't get a proper medication facility or and the other one was the appointment issues for the doctors like the doctors they usually they want either they don't respond to it or they like they don't they, most of them like they don't they say no and like most of them like they give up like most of them so uh, i thought that maybe you know when i heard this so i thought that maybe you know we can combine both uh, these things and come up to a solution that might bring a uh, success to this uh, cause because i like i researched on most of the things and i uh, i've seen that other countries they are doing a lot more than india so like i i thought that you know, you know i could uh, you know uh, give my uh, uh, skills and you know, like uh, putting both the technical and bio thing and making it uh, making this uh, initiative a great success thank you yeah fine thank you thank you shubhi uh, yeah so it's it's very exciting that everybody is so motivated to contribute so yeah we are looking forward to it uh, 